And meteorologist Ray Palin is joining us now with a check on the forecast. Hey, Ray. Hey, it's going to start to get soggy here. We are okay. with those little showers moving in, and this is going to pretty much be one of those things that sticks with us over the next few days. So if you got rain gear for the holidays, it's going to come in very handy here. You can see that most of the rain is pretty light. Some sprinkles in Westmoreland County, that's out towards Greensburg. Then as you settle a little further south into Washington, picks up. It's a little steadier out towards 100 as you get into Monongalia County around Morgantown. Some of that rain, but uh, most of this again, pretty light south of this. It's more widespread and there is plenty of rain for everyone to get in on here over the next uh, couple of days. Dry in Pittsburgh right now. Currently it's warm to 48 degrees and I think tomorrow we'll even see temperatures in the 50s, but these 40s are sticking with us through the night. It's going to be one of those warmer nights. We have the clouds holding in the heat. We still have those winds coming out of the south, keeping that uh, warmer setup going here. Morgantown's at 50, 49 Washington, 48 Pittsburgh, 50 even in Greensburg at this point. Point. Clouds for most of us with a few of those light showers mixed in between south of Pittsburgh, most of it south of I-70. But you can see here there is a lot of rain and the yellows and oranges would indicate some areas of heavier rain with a couple of systems that are going to be making a run towards us. The first one being this one lifting in from the south. So that'll continue to spread the rain our way through the course of the night. So by the time we get towards 1 a.m., this rain is going to be more widespread. Steadier pockets of rain try to move in tomorrow. Those will be around for the morning commute. These showers on and off throughout the course of your Friday. Now, Friday night, this cold front tries to push in here. It'll start to knock temperatures back just a little bit, but the real cold air starts to work back in here behind this next low that lifts in on Saturday. So that'll bring rain on the front side, colder air transitioning that rain to snow on the back side. Now we're not looking at big accumulations here because you can see that snow is not quite as widespread. We'll have some drier air to overcome, but bottom line, we're going to transition back into something a little more winter like as we get to from the weekend through much of next week. 43 degrees, mild temperatures through the night. That does come with the rain and breezy conditions, 5 to 10 mile per hour winds out of the south southwest. Light and variable winds tomorrow. But it's going to be soggy with that 50 degrees on and off rain showers throughout the course of the day. The next several show these temperatures go from 50 tomorrow to slightly cooler early Saturday. Through the day Saturday, those temperatures fall off, changing that rain to snow. Scattered snow showers on Sunday, a little break Monday, a little more scattered snow for Tuesday and Wednesday. The temperatures bobble around in the mid to upper 30s, even low 40s through much of the forecast. Typical temperatures would be in the mid 30s this time of year. So most of this is above average, but uh, we'll get a little closer to where those numbers should be as we get into the weekend. Now, with all this going on, you'll want to get the KDK weather app. It has hour by hour forecast, daily forecast, and interactive radar, which is very helpful when you have those soggy conditions moving in. All you have to do is search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.